guys, I'm Cisco. I come from Bristol, UK, and I just got this amazing opportunity to have this flash talk, and why not using it? So I've been challenged once because there was this talk, meetup group, and there, there was a UX designer saying, oh, it's all about voice now, and you UI designers, I am UI designers my, designer myself, and he said, oh, UI de designers are going to basically lose their job. And I was like, oh, no, wait a second. I don't want to lose my job. And then I realized there's much, much more, as, as, as we've seen also with AR and other stuff, and we're going to maintain the visual side of it. But also, I work in, in a music industry-related company, and we develop voice experiences, developing an AI bespoke for music, and have got some... I don't have any slide, didn't have time to prepare, it was such a surprise, but what's really interesting is that voice bots still have, are going to have a personality and we can represent kind of personality with visual design and this sort of thing, so there is something in between that I think we are missing or we are just realizing now and going from graphical user interfaces to voice user interfaces, I, it's a delicate thing, so what what's sits in between? I think there's, for a visual designer, I started as a visual designer, they're getting to voice and this sort of things. And what is really important to maintain with voice experiences is motion and movement, so time that comes with it. And I just have a really quick example of what we're doing. So um, to create this sort of personality for this voice bot, we just started uh, focusing on animations. It's really simple, like we've all seen like the microphone button that animates like from Google or other, other voice services. Uh, the interesting part to me is work on like the human part of it. So in this animation, this is like where, for instance, you look for a device and you pair with your phone. So you give birth in some way to this AI and it's the first time you're going to use it, you're going to use this bot. So giving the idea of breathing, like the first breath you take. So what I would like to focus on a lot is motion and time and the way uh, personalities from voice bots and others can actually be represented visually also, not in a static way, of course, but in in a, in a animated way. So what are like the different states of the microphone where you have like simple, simply like waiting sti state, then you have like positive confirmations of the, the microphone. So you can still give a personality f starting from the human beings and what emotions uh, tell, ab tell us about this. It's just when we give a confirmation to another human being, we just say yes, so in, in this, mainly in these Western countries. So just starting from that, we can still work on something and hopefully not lose our job. So this is another example. It's like an error that comes it's like when you shake with the head and say, no, no, I don't want this. And the main source of inspiration, I don't know if it's been used already, but starting on like Kanye West is such a no guy and it's like say no to everything. And this emoji, merging them together, just gave birth to, to this error state. So also when we're listening, we trying to use, to, to emphasize this thing with a color background that changes and give more like emotional impact and uh, other, other states where we're, for example, thinking. Thinking is such a human thing, but also machine can think because they're processing information, so why not replicating this kind of thing in a, in a human way? And other main inspirations for this can be like the movement of the Indian guys. Actually, I, I had the opportunity to work with a really good Indian UX designer, and she told me a bit about this, and I was like, well, it's really interesting. So this means yes, but can mean like many other things. So who knows? It's just thinking and just putting things together. And on the technical side, I work mainly with After Effects, but as you can see, this is like the uh, graph like of a timeline from, a, from an animation in motion graphics. And what I try to focus on is try to give like a pleasant curve to the motions and time, these lines define timing and like how they move in between like a moment and another. So 
that can still be really human, even if we work on the technical side. This is not code at all, it's just uh, as using like Illustrator, Premiere, or other softwares, but get into like another deep level of conversation, of animations, and all of these things that can drive bots in a more human, human way. And hopefully, yeah, as I said already, just not lose our job. That's it. Thank you.